How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here at Sweetwater's Video Studio. This is Talakael Esparza from hey. Sunhouse Sensory Percussion, and that's what we're talking about today, sensory percussion. Yeah. And your fantastic product. Welcome. Thank you. Great to see you here. Great to be Talakael here. Talakael has been here once before doing videos with us and showing us your product. There's some new iteration of the software, some new bells and whistles. Let's get into it all. But before we get into the new software, let's Let's start from the beginning real quick, just for some viewers who have never heard of your product and what it does, because it's really cool and you need to check it out. So give us a quick overview of what sure. Sensor Percussion is. Yeah, so um, Sensor Percussion is a brand new paradigm for electronic sounds on the drums. They're not triggers, they're sensors matched with software. So what we're doing is actually listening to the sound that you make when you hit a drum all the information for how you're interacting with an acoustic instrument is embedded in that sound. And what our software does using machine learning algorithms and um, advanced DSP is we can tell how you're hitting the drum through audio. And what that allows you to do is map up to 10 zones per drum. So if you think about like an SPDS that's got nine pads on it, right? So you get 10 zones on a single drum but you can blend between zones. You can use the movement between zones to control parameters like reverbs and pitch shifts. You can use velocity, speed, all these parameters that drummers naturally uh, use in their playing. I mean, that's, you know, the art of drumming is um, manipulating the timbre of these objects, playing hard, playing fast, playing quiet, playing slow. All these parameters can be used to control a whole host of really nice electronic processes. So beautiful sounding effects, um, really sophisticated sampling control, so sequencing, um, mixing of samples, stacking, all kinds of things. And uh, it allows for a completely new breadth of control of electronics behind the drum set. So what you see ele uh, an electronic musician or DJ doing on stage with their laptop and a MIDI controller, you can do that on the drums without looking at the computer, without putting your drumsticks down. Amazing stuff. And it is quite cool. The sounds are beautiful and it's a lot of fun to play and really inspiring. So, and it's really not that hard. Let's first talk about, well, how the sound gets into the software and that's with the sensor right here. Yeah. Explain to us what's going on here. Yeah, so this is our sensor. Um, in a lot of ways, it's like a guitar pickup. So it reads a little piece of metal that's attached to the drum head. Which is um, right under yeah. the sensor there. Yeah, okay. um, and it's really just a microphone. So it's phantom powered. So you plug it into any standard audio interface. Um, there's a whole host of uh, nice audio interfaces with four channels that yeah. support our system. Um, and then our software gets the signal from the audio interface. Okay. Um, and our, s our software is really just listening to that audio from the sound of your drum. Right. And this hooks onto any standard rim of any yeah. drum, even including the bass drum, which is cool. So you don't need separate sensors for separate drums. It's all the same. One. Exactly, right. yeah. And it's designed to fit um, standard rims from flange to die cast to S hoops to these kind of uh, wood hoops. Right. Um, or, you know, the wood kind of wood hoops that are on snare, snare, right. certain snare drums. So great. Works with everything. Yeah. Cool. Now you have to, you guys make it really easy. The learning feature. Show us that real quick yeah. on how you, because everybody plays differently. Everybody, mm -hmm. every drummer hits differently, different velocities, you know, loud, soft, all of that stuff. But your software learns that. Yeah. So one of the benefits of having nice software to do the kinds of stuff that you previously you were doing with embedded boxes, so drum brains, these kind of things, is that you can really customize it to match how you play as a drummer. So each drum as its own object sounds differently, and each drummer hits the drum differently and gets different sounds out of it. So, so for me, I'll set up this drum. Um, you know, you go into the software. When you first open it, it's a blank slate. You click learn and you give it some examples of how you hit the drum. So I'll hit it in the center, hit it out towards the edge, uh, rim tip, rim shoulder, and a whole host of other zones. Sure. So these become the up to 10 zones that you can use. So to each of those, I can assign different samples, different effects, all kinds of processes that move between them. Yeah. What's well, amazing, <laughs> it's amazing. You get a different sound with the tip of the stick as opposed to the shoulder of the stick. Yeah. Which, it's kind of, that's mind blowing to me. It's yeah. really cool. <laughs> okay, a lot of great information there. Now, in this drum kit, you have a drum with a mesh head on it and you have regular acoustic drums. Last time you were here, you played on a kit with just the mesh heads. And it's, a, it's a, an amazing instrument for that because you hear the sounds out of the, uh, out of the software. You're not really competing with the acoustic drums. But all that said, hybrid drumming is, a, is a, definitely a thing these days. 
So it seems like your software works equally well with acoustic drums with regular heads as opposed to the mesh. So yeah. how important is that to sensory percussion yeah. in your brand and your Yeah, when, gear? when we first started uh, developing this, uh, it, I, it was only envisioned to be used on acoustic drums. That's how I thought, um, that's how I thought it would be used. Um, I came from uh, rock music and electronic music where I was putting triggers on drums and doing this hybrid thing. And so I saw this um, opportunity to make something that really spoke to what I wanted to accomplish as a drummer and, you know, electronic, um, uh, you know, sound artist. Sure. Um, and the mesh head thing came later. We got some requests like, does it work with mesh heads? And we're like, let's see if it works. <laughs> and then it turned out it worked really well. Right. And mesh heads um, are really fun to play because you get so much control and uh, you can focus on the electronic sounds. Uh, but this system was originally designed to be used with acoustic drums. You know, this is the instrument. This is, uh, you know, if you come up playing drums, you're used to hitting a drum and getting a loud sound out of it, right? right. So right. if you're used to putting triggers on drums or having an SPDS or some kind of, um, you know, pads around your acoustic set, if you're already working with a band and already have a, you know, a repertoire worked out um, on your acoustic kit, using sensory percussion is a natural choice because it allows you to embed all those electronic components in your kit and, um, and work with sounds in a more natural and flexible way. And it allows you to go so much deeper. If right. you're used to using backing tracks, for instance, all those things are in the backing track you can now embed into the drums and step away from that click track. I mean, the sure. drummer should be the click track, maybe, right. in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a really powerful use case to put it on, uh, on acoustic drums. And um, I really like combining mesh head with acoustic because some elements really work as pure electronic and some sound, you know, when you add a fat sound or a reverb effect to a snare drum, it can sound really satisfying. Okay, so let's get into some of the new software improvements. You're at what level of software yet right now? We're at 1.5, so that's f uh, six major releases since we launched. Since you first started. Zero through five, yeah. And it's incredibly easy software to use, guys. It's, it's drag and drop. You drag sounds, you drag to effects, anywhere in the program that's really simple to use as deep as a program as it is already. So let us give us some information on some of the new improvements and show us a few things with the software. Sure. Yeah, so we designed the software to be used by drums behind the drum set. I think, um, th for me, uh, there wasn't really a software like that. That was actually designed for me to use as a drummer. So, you know, it's, it's designed to do the things that drummers need to do behind the kit, right? Okay. So deal with crosstalk, um, assign samples on the fly, apply effects, um, you know, have a lot of options for how you can manipulate samples and do sequences and things like this. So um, if you look at the interface, um, go to a blank kit here. So you can have up, the up here at the top, you can have up to 99 different kits. So these, this is like if you, your set of music, we have 20 songs. Sure. You can have a different preset for each song and it's really easy to click through. You can assign it to a MIDI controller, all kinds of ways of navigating through all your sets. Mm -hmm. um, so within a kit, if you want to use our presets, it's a simple drag and drop up to, um, up to this top ribbon here. So drop an entire preset. That's four drums worth of sounds. Um, you can click into one of, one of these presets and grab one of the drums. Like, let's say I just want the snare from this preset. You just drag it onto the channel. Um, but when you want to create your own kits, you can use your own samples. You can use our samples. We ship with, um, I think it's close to eight gigs of samples now. And it's all included with the software. Amazing. Um, we also release new sound packs at, uh, close to once a month. Um, and so it's a simple process of dragging and dropping samples onto pads. And uh, it's, it's very simple. I'm kind of just randomly dropping stuff here. 
it's really quick to just drag and drop samples all around. If you, you know, you've chopped up a song, you can do the same thing. You can stack samples, you can cycle through samples, you can assign samples to velocity control. So on a single drum, you can map hundreds of samples and it can be very tightly controlled. Not like just random all over the place, but like one zone here can have different velocity levels. One zone here can cycle through a whole list of samples. You can have samplers that are stacked on top of samplers and get really intricate control with you know, chords and melodies moving around on top of drums. So it, it's really infinite the way you can use this system to control electronic sound. Right, and, you're pre and you have a lot of presets that have a lot of that intricacy already built in. Yeah. So if you're not a super duper deep diver, you can have a ton of fun and be very creative with this software right out of the box. Yeah, so. That's amazing right there, very cool. All right, so we're talking about the hybrid setup and you're, we're incorporating acoustic drums here. Crosstalk has always been the bane of triggering drums, it's, you know, from way back when. Not having one drum trigger another drum and all that kind of stuff. So how does Crosstalk work with your software and how have you gone past that? Yeah, so I have very fond memories of looking at a little LCD screen and adjusting a zero to 100 value to get the threshold right, right? Um, so now that we have software, we can do a lot more and it can be easy to look at and control, right? So um, we have here a, a threshold panel that allows you to visually adjust where your threshold is so you can see how sound is affecting your drum and just visually set the threshold. Makes it so much faster, so much easier. Right. Um, and that's per drum. Um, when it comes to crosstalk betwe between drums, there's an automatic crosstalk cancellation engine that can tell when you know, I'm smacking the bass drum, and there's a sensor attached, so I know that these drums, um, we can tell the difference, essentially. So soon to be released is a new engine that handles, and this is actually a beta of this version, that handles crosstalk from outside. So like if I come over here and smack <coughs> my six together, um, do you hear anything? No, and it's All also, right. and we were talking about <laughs> so that in the, in the sales meeting today. Yeah. If, the, if these are on a live stage with a band and you're having other, because these are microphones, right? Yeah. yeah, and you have bleed of a guitar amp or something like that, it's also gonna, not, that's not gonna come through the software and trigger yeah. sounds as well. No. So. Yeah, so um, we have a lot of sophisticated DSP going on that allows us to um, negate subs and those kind of low frequencies. It's really trained on um, impulses, right. um, and also if you have a consistent sound like another, you know, like a bass drum over here that you're smacking with a stick, um, and it's consistently, and you want to set your threshold super low so you can get really fine control, there's this button right here called void, and you can train that to recognize this sound, and so it says, that sounds like the kick drum, I'm not going to do anything. And so the, the software has these ways of handling it and customizing it for the situation. Not all crosstalk is the same. If it's a snare drum, that's really a different nature than if it's a guitar amp behind you. So the software is intelligent and allows you to, to handle the crosstalk in the right way for the right situation. Also, there's so much control over sample manipulation that like, if you're used to triggers, you have one sample and you have to set a threshold for how that one sample sounds, right? But with ours, you can stack samplers and each sampler has its own threshold setting. So in this case, we have these sounds down here. If this cross talks, because I'm smacking my snare drum, I generally don't care. Right. It's masking it, it doesn't matter. Drums actually talk to each other, you know? Right. Um, so through sound design, it, it doesn't matter to me, but I smack this and I get a nice chord. Um, uh, I don't want that to crosstalk, but it's not going to because it's on a higher threshold. So there's ways of dealing it with sound design and the intelligent um, sampler. So there's all kinds of options for handling it um, elegantly. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, sensory percussion presents a really interesting um, new path for dealing with tonality and chords and form behind the drums. Um, so on a drum like this, you'll hear that if I smack it, I can cycle through chords. Yeah. And there are ways where you can, like I can hit this for instance and reset the chord or go to a d the new chord and you can manage navigating through sequences. Yeah, so you can change keys or yeah, whatever, yeah. Um, yeah. Through the drum. So rather than having a sequencer where you push play and it just plays through, you're the sequencer and you can 
really control things in this, in this really interesting way. And over the last year, we also released a new feature um, in the sampler that allows you to, um, if say you're using center to edge to control the pitch of a sample, you can now snap it to scale degrees. So you can throw a, a, you know, a piano sound on a drum, pitch quantize it, and suddenly it's like you're playing a new instrument. So like on this drum. <laughs> So, super fun to play. Um, you can combine that with... <laughs> right? And suddenly, you can perform entire songs behind the drums. And that's what a lot of uh, drummers who are using the system are doing. They've written albums, they're on solo tours, they're making money. Sure. <laughs> you know, they're really making music and performing electronic music without a click track, where every note matters, where it's a real performance that can change and live and grow. And that's, you know, that's really what the, the drums are the sure. best at doing, is uh, you know, communicating rhythm and, and song like that. You know what sounded really beautiful, too, is the acoustic tom with that sort of same pitch and the, the, that tone you had going around changing pitch. Those two together was absolutely beautiful sound. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we like to put tones on the rack tom. It just works. Yeah, it works yeah. really well. That's awesome. Yeah. Before we close out the video today, Talake, let's talk about integrating with your DAW and how easy that is. Yeah, so for us, we want to make drummers' lives easier. We want to open up options. Um, and so we didn't want to create a closed system that didn't communicate with other things. And we're always looking for ways to make it better. Um, but right now, there's a lot of options for how to get control from sensory percussion and audio out and into a DAW. Um, so with MIDI, you can, um, there's a MIDI panel in the software that allows you to customize MIDI messages based on how you're playing the drums. So each zone can be one MIDI note or a group of MIDI notes. You can edit them really easily. You can get out the um, control signals as CC messages, and you can out the output those to anywhere. So you can send them to Ableton. You can send them out of your interface to a DMX, DMX box to control lighting. Lights, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with that. It's really rich MIDI data. And we also have a plugin that uh, a VST plugin that you can load in Logic or Ableton or um, another DAW that allows you to get multi-channel audio streamed directly out of our standalone app. So if you want to record what's going on here and you want to mix it after the fact, you can basically get um, stems out of the software right. streaming directly into Ableton, record it, mix it after. Um, you can even, it's low latency, so you can even use like live looping functions and other softwares and things like this. Um, I've used so the VST plugin with Ableton, cool. and it works seamlessly. It's really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah, we kind of invented our, a different protocol. I don't know, we invented it, but we just, we didn't, we're not using um, Rewire or anything like that. It's just a kind of a simple VST plugin, and it just works, right. and that's, that's what we wanted. Talakayal, thank you so much for coming back to Sweetwater. Thanks for having me. The product is fantastic. If you are new to electronic drumming or hybrid drumming, if you want to just get into it for the first time, I highly encourage you to check out Sensory Percussion. It's very easy to use. It's so much fun to play. Very inspiring. Thank you. Cool. Thanks so much for coming. If you want any more information about any of the Sensory Percussion products, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and thanks a lot for coming, Talakayal. Thank you. All right. All right. Ciao.